Good afternoon and welcome to Shunk. My name is JD Norris and I'm an application engineer here. And today I want to talk to you about FlexGrip tools. We're first going to start off about establishing what our FlexGrip tool portfolio is and then also transit, uh, transition to talking about how these tools are active in the space. So what is FlexGrip tools? FlexGrip tools is one of Shunk's solutions for quick and easy automation on the fly when it comes specifically to your end of arm tool. So with traditional automation, we're talking about picking a gripper and then combining it with numerous custom pieces, whether it be custom fingers, custom adapter plates, and other items to create your end of arm tool. And it's a fully specialized engineered solution. These solutions are great. Typically, it solves all your problems and is exactly what you need. But sometimes, we wanna be a little quicker. We don't wanna spend as much time designing our plates and then manufacturing everything. We want something that's quick and easy and flexible. And so, in today's age, when we're talking about uh, cobots, like our UR here in our tech man, we're talking about automation and programming that it's very, very simple and very, very easy. You can get this tech man in, and in a couple hours, you can program your entire task. It's that quick. So with a robot, where you have that immediate return on investment, we know that your end of arm tool should be just as flexible and just as rapid. So in a traditional automation tool, here's a good example. We have a rotary here, which would be our J6 axis equivalent to the robot. And we have two grippers that are offset mounted with custom adapter plates and custom fingers. These fingers are customized specifically to the piece as well as this adapter plate. So it just takes time. Equivalently, we can actually do this exact same build with FlexGrip tools. So here we have our FlexGrip tool version. We have two grippers offset mount so you can handle different parts at the same time, as well as having standard fingers and a standard robot adapter plate that goes back to this TechMan robot. So how does that start off? So we start off, of course, with the gripper. And with FlexGrip tools, you'll have two adapter plates that go on to that gripper itself. You'll have a dovetail rail that mounts to the base of that gripper, as well as two mounts to the jaws that you go from. And basically, the entire system is built on this dovetail rail system. So if you can see that, that's an adapter plate that goes back to the robot. You can see it has that dovetail plate. And what's key about that dovetail plate is that it allows you to have flexible bracketry, which can then be combined to create different kinds of tools. So typically, you just have two screws here that will come into place. It slides on to that adapter plate. It can slide up and down as you need. And so with the combination that you have with a wide variety of bracketry within our kits, you can create a number of different types of tools. Here's a very, very common tool. Here's another one that you have where you have a gripper that's offset at a certain distance. It takes only a couple minutes to be able to establish and build this tool. Another great feature of the FlexGrip tools is our finger design. So with traditional automation, you're always customizing your fingers to different sets of parts. Well, if you have a really custom piece and you then you're switching, you're doing a small batch size and you switch over to a different part, a lot of times you have to change that finger design. So instead of taking the time to redesign or remachine a finger, it'd be a lot easier if you could just slide those fingers out and adjust. So here is how we have kind of established and created a solution here. So with these sets of fingers, these posts are mounted onto this dovetail rail. So even though the stroke of that gripper does not change, you can adjust these fingers out or closer in to be able to pick up different ranges and sizes of parts. And we have two different types of finger inserts that we typically use. One can be this rubber insert here, which allows you to have more friction creating flat pieces, flat work pieces. And then we also have this V-jaw finger insert, which is best for picking up rounded pieces, um, whether it be on the outside um, or the inside. You can actually flip these fingers around 180 degrees, and then you can fit the ID of a part as opposed to the OB. And like I said, there's just a wide, wide variety of the mount tools that you create. You're only limited by the payload of your robot and kind of your creativity. Uh, another feature that we can talk about with FlexGrip tools would be our valve bank, which you can see right here on this tool. This valve bank allows you to bring all your valving and controls, whether it be for the sensors or the air, all up to this one point at the end of the robot wrist. This is all, the, or the only inputs that come into here are your one cable for your electric that goes back and control, and then also pneumatic. So you just take two lines and you can create everything else. 
here we have a situation where we're not only powering the opening close of the gripper, but we're also pneumatically actuating these two fixtures as well. Um, this valve box comes complete with different types of mounting plates. So we have some that are specific to TechMan, so we can pay attention to our camera here. And then we also have ISO 31.5 all the way up to 64. So it's a wide variety of different ranges that we can talk about. Another thing I'd like to talk about with FlexPick tools is just how quick and easy it is to adjust you know, while we're moving things. So let's say you're machine tending. It's a very, very common application that we see in the field. Uh, this tool is specific for that in where we can load up one part into our, you know, let's say it's a lathe chuck, load a part, and then come back and unload with that same exact tool all at the same time. So this two gripper setup can be used to load your, or unload your part and then load that same part on all in one quick stroke and building. And then let's say, okay, you have a small batch size you've run clean through that, and now you have a new task to go about. Well, you might not need to use the same tool, but you can still build a, a new design right on the fly to that new task can just right off of this robot wrist in that dovetail plate. So the dovetail plate allows you to have a very, very wide range of possibilities in your tool design. So I think that we might have some questions. No questions. All right, no questions. Well, in that case, thank you very much for joining me today. If you have any questions about FlexGrip tools, please feel free to call in to Shunk, and thanks for joining me.